What's your biggest money wealth hack type of strategy? Yeah, the biggest wealth hack in 2022 is understanding that we live in an attention economy. If you can garner attention, you can make money. doesn't matter if you sell a book. doesn't matter if you sell a course. doesn't matter if you sell meetups. You can get attention. You can get money. And you need to understand that everyone's attention span is fucking fried. Watch someone on, watch someone on TikTok. Look how, look how fast they swap video after one second, two seconds max. You need to put together super long format stuff for your dedicated fans, but hard hitting short format, hard hitting stuff for the, the casual viewer. That's the key to it. And then you have to get their, you have to get their details. They have to know who you are. And from there you can monetize anything, bro. You can sell fucking skincare cream, fucking <laughs> perks, books. It doesn't matter what it is. That's, that's what I would say. Is that what's going on in your head when you're on a podcast? You're like, dude, I got, man, they just gave me a softball. I'm about to crush it here in 30 seconds. Oh, 100%. So I, I love the long format stuff, but I love when it gets chopped up and it's short format, and especially on TikTok accounts with like an affiliate link or with a link there to sell money. I mean, I'll be honest, man. Before the big nuking, I, I had I had 250,000 people in Hey You. So I was doing like 8 or $9 million a month in Hustlers University before the big, the big attack. And they've tried to destroy my processing and stuff, but I, I found a way and I'll be back. But that was just off short format, short format content, pushing people to a link. That's all it was. That's awesome, man. If you can answer this in 30 seconds, what's your biggest sure. money, what's been your biggest money mistake ever? My biggest money mistake ever was thinking that it took money to make money. And it does with investing, but with most business ideas, if you have a good team, a good network, and you have the ability to garner attention, you can start any business in the world basically for free. If you can, if you can, if you have a good team and you can get people to pay attention to you, you can sell products before they even fucking exist. So the biggest thing I would say is when someone says, I want to invest a million, I'm like, whoa, well, slow down. If you want to sell this, let's sell it. Let's make the million. Send everyone an email, apologize for the delay, and spend the money you've already made. That's, that's what I would do. Well, what do you think about that wealth hack? Listen, Andrew's greatest strength ended up also being his greatest area of weakness because it was that short form content that people misunderstood that took him down. It's sad though, overall, that this happened to him. Because I don't, listen, I don't think anybody should be silenced like this. By the way, if it can happen to Andrew Tate, if it can happen to a president, a former president of the United States of America, guess what you think can eventually happen to you? So the wisdom behind his message here is to make sure you have some form of bulletproof list and method of communication to the people that you influence and people that follow you and your customers, your clients, your potential customers down the road, have a way to communicate with them even if somebody takes that on off switch and turns it off and cancels you, turns you off, you still have a way to monetize that list, your years of building that list, years of building a follow, years of building your brand, you still have a way to get out there and communicate still with them and sell them whatever it is that you're selling, whether it be a book, et cetera, et cetera, like what he was saying. Stop.